I certainly started this party with a bang. Okay, so I had actually, like, filmed some stuff for this this morning to try and get the episode done so I could be uploading it tonight. It didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. Uh, I forgot to actually change the setting on my camera from photo to video. So I have a whole bunch of lovely shots of myself with this silly frowning expression on my face trying to wonder whether or not the framing's right. Off to a good start. For some reason, every time I'm on camera, my face seems to get really itchy. Okay, what I'm trying to do with this month of meanwhile. First of all, I just, I've just finished one personal challenge. My only vice is Pepsi. I drink way too much of it. And so I thought, all right, I'll have a month without Pepsi. It's a lot harder than you think. But I got through that month, so I thought, all right, I'll do a creative challenge. I'll, you know, make a thing. Having a month of not doing a thing as opposed to a month of doing a thing is a completely different challenge. To not do a thing, all you've got to do is not do the thing. Yeah, but <laughs> having a month of actually doing a challenge is a lot tougher. So we're going to see how we go with this. It's April 1st, April Fool's Day. Traditionally, it's the day that every single asshole you know comes out of the woodwork and tries to prove how funny they are by making your life hell. Now, I will admit I have played some pranks on April Fool's Days in the past. So now I'm going to tell you one of them. One of my favorite pranks, probably not the best prank I ever did, um, but I really liked it. it, was years ago. I was 18 years old. I was working in a publishing house. Uh, and I really wanted to do a whole bunch of pranks to the people on my floor. Basically, you know, spend the whole day all these pranks going off and stuff like that. But two problems. One, couldn't think of any. Big one there. Second one was, couldn't afford to do them anyway. Pranks are expensive. You may not realize this, but pranks can be quite costly. So I'm racking my brain trying to come up with um, something to do when I got this idea and I wrote this note for everybody on my floor and it went something along the lines of this. And the note stated that I had put pranks everywhere. I had rigged drawers, I had rigged seats, I had rigged cupboards, I had put things above doorways, I had put things under mats, I had rigged people's computers to do things. I had come up with a whole bunch of potential scenarios of pranks that I had played on the people in the office. I made about 75 copies of that and plastered it everywhere. You know, you got out of the elevator, it was the first thing you saw. It was on people's desks, it was on walls, it was on the photocopier, it was everywhere. I just put this one note all over the place. Sat back and watched. And it was about a good four hours of people just terrified to do anything. You'd see them before they opened a drawer or before they sat in a chair. It's like running their hands under the chair or like tentatively open the drawer or anything like that. Just basically like preparing themselves for a prank. Until finally they started to cotton on with the fact that I hadn't played any pranks. And they kept on saying to me, it's like, oh, you haven't got any one, you haven't got any one, you haven't got any one. Finally at 12 o'clock, because, you know, traditionally like, you know, you can't play pranks after 12 o'clock. Who came up with that? I don't know. They said, it's just like, you didn't lay any pranks. What was the prank you laid? And all I had to do was pick up the letter and sort of dangle it in front of their faces and say, gotcha. 